Ozzy Griffin, and uh, sorry, I have to give me my nose is itching like I wouldn't believe. This is a quick video for Richard O'Brien, Celtic Hero 9, the stand up philosopher. Great guy. You asked me whether war was moral, and I tell you, of course, that it is not. Never have I seen any change, any social change, any uh, long lasting development of any technology or anything else that has ever been done with war that could not have been done cheaper, easier, much less painfully, and with any other number of side benefits uh, that has ever been done through war. Radar was developed for war. It could have been done for civilian purposes with the advent of more flying machines. Uh, there's... Good gosh, how many technologies were developed that could have been done peacefully. And, you know, it's... The only people I ever... I mean, what I really find is interesting is when you try and refine it down to one question, who would find war an acceptable uh, solution to things? And my my experience, and I admit it's not as uh, it's not as expensive as your own, my experience has been the only people who want war are the kind of people who are going to do stuff that would be allowable during war that under any other circumstances would be absolutely abhorrent to anyone who learns about it. That's my experience. And I, I defy anyone out there on YouTube to tell me that that is not the case. Show me an individual who could only do something during war uh, that they that they possibly, you know, could not have done better during, you know, or, or more beneficially to everybody during peace. There was a great game uh, called Star Wars and Knights of the Old Republic. There's a great bit in there where uh, you have a... Uh, hologram uh, as a computer interface and the hologram asks you morality questions it says you know there's a decaying empire you know or not decaying uh, a stagnating empire and you're the emperor you learn of an attack in about three months time uh, on one of your planets what do you do so there's a couple options you can suddenly reinforce the defenses and evacuate as many civilians as you can get away with uh, you can uh, crush the attack as soon as it occurs and look like a hero or you can do nothing the correct answer according to the left brain thinking of the computer is to do nothing because that way your empire is revitalized and it's good for the long term benefit of the empire I ask you this if people were getting dissatisfied with the empire uh, would making them live in a situation even longer that they weren't satisfied with is that really a moral thing for them or you? Or does it just forestall and make worse the inevitable collapse of the system, which would be reimposed, reinstated, and just start the ball rolling again only with more force? I actually did a video about this called uh, Let a Restore the Republic Why? Because uh, I just see it as... And I'm all for republics, don't get me wrong. Republic was in ancient Greece means... Uh, in ancient Greek means a dis dialogue. So you get the Republic of Plato, which means him having a conversation with somebody. Uh, I'm all for it. You know, the Iroquois had a great system, uh, which the um, founding fathers, as they're so-called, borrowed from very heavily. It's all about accountability and discourse and being honest. And as long as you don't have, I'm going to say, morals, even virtues, as the Romans would have put it, uh, as soon as you start undermining them in some core areas like institutionalize the undermining of the morality that you preach, your empire is basically going bye-bye. I mean, it, it's only a matter of time before it goes. So, I don't see war as moral, and there's never been a good enough argument. The only people who ever endorse war are the people who are going to do something that, under normal circumstances, uh, people would find abhorrent. So, yeah, that's just where I sit on the whole thing, and I hope it's a good example of why. Anyway, let me know what you think. I hope this has started a discussion, even if it's just in your own head. And, uh, yeah, ha happy holidays, happy new year, guys.